today so he sent in a really epic shot i don't think i've ever done a car edit on my channel before i don't know if i'll see it on here but uh he sent it in and yeah we're recreating his style so there's heaps of shaping to the lighting so we're gonna have to do filters and stuff like that to shape the lighting and then there's this really mac look to especially the shadows but also the mid-tones highlights but those whites are kept still pretty bright they're maybe a bit capped off but the whites aren't completely capped off and then he's using the natural tones most of the time there's not a heck of a lot going on in terms of like creating colors he likes to bring out the oranges and the blues and make those blues a bit more of a teal otherwise it's a bit of a cinematic look but then it's got quite a bit of color and quite a bit of pop as well i personally really like just the real smooth look throughout the entire image it can look really cinematic i think there's one down here that looks super cinematic i really like this one just the smoothness of that contrast so that comes down to the curves putting a nice contrast in with the color channels and then the rgb channel really smoothing it out and we've already done one on this image as well and then quite a few shots are like underexposed as well that's another thing to keep in mind well not underexposed but like the that fade is really bringing down the entire image's brightness so he told me that he's going to be coming out with presets really shortly so make sure you go over to his instagram give him a follow and then like see if his presets are up by then Otherwise, I might update the description and link them to you guys. So yeah, let's get into this tutorial. Right, so into this one. So we've exposed for the clouds. Uh, quick shutter speed because it's very bright. 3.5, so just like a little softening towards the back. ISO low because it's bright. And then 24 millimeters. So uh, we've cropped in quite a bit. If I show you the cropping. I'm just filling the frame a bit more. And placing the car on the rule of thirds there so we want to brighten things but then we also want to keep the cloud detail uh, right and we're about good for now we want a nice crispy contrast and possibly even some texture for some grit now i want to show you the curves they're very important and i'll just show you what they're doing so uh this curve here is going to give us a real flattening to the image but i've done some work in this one too but as you can see it's really um putting a matte look throughout the whole image so the color channels i might revisit these soon after i've done my other adjustments just to explain what they're doing otherwise yeah just basically adding in quite a bit of contrast so yeah now we've added a whole lot of contrast to our image and a fade yeah we're looking pretty good brighten things a bit more saturation I'll bring down the vibrance because we've got quite a cinematic look going on we might actually bring down a lot of these we definitely want the luminance of the greens and the yellows to be up and we'll just drop saturation and then we want them to be a nice warm color maybe not the greens go for the yellows maybe okay and what we also need to do before we do anything else enable profile corrections we'll put a little vignette on and then uh, around this round it out midpoint bring it in a bit okay uh, yeah we don't need any grain and then while we're here we will do the sharpening so pretty sharp style he's got we'll bring it right up radius down detail maybe right now we kind of just want to fine tune stuff we'll go split toning this is actually really important so for the shadows let's put in a blue i think there's a lot of blue at the moment we look kind of like purple and i think going by we've done an edit with him before we put blue in the shadows for that one and then looking at his Instagram, I'm thinking blue in the shadows. And then highlights, we've got a nice orange here. Let's put that in. And you can kind of tell by the whites there. Now, I might even warm up the entire image because, like, these are our whites. And we were underexposed. And if you're underexposed an image, it will tend to be uh, on the cool side. So we need to warm it up and you can just like the whites of the clouds. We want to make them kind of white. We'll just do a little bit up here 
and then we'll do the rest in split toning so let's just go warm things up a bit and then you can play with the luminance here now with the new update and I mean you can do it up top I don't see much of a reason to do it down here but yeah we definitely need to bring the highlights down a bit that looks good um, in terms of blending I bring that right up to a hundred and on this this side too well it auto just does it over on the shadows too looking pretty good and now we're just pretty much fine tuning our colors in the hsl Let's just close that right so i want all the colors in the road to pop out so you can see that the purples are in there a little bit so we're up to purples magenta maybe blues in the sky that you know they're just too strong um so i want to want to bring out the clouds a little more so i might drop the luminance of the blues luminance of the purples get that shine in the road and then as for the color of the blues a bit more of a teal and then we've got aquas that aren't really in the image uh greens greens we will warm up a lot and then we might have to cool down our yellows to some warm tones and then reads so pretty much just the light of the car just want to probably drop its saturation probably towards the oranges no real oranges in this one he does like to make the oranges pop though so i might bring it up a bit green saturation but then bring up the yellows maybe yeah it can be hard because your greens affect your orange i mean your greens affect your yellows and your yellows affect your oranges but if you play around you'll figure it out um bring down luminance a bit back up the top again i'll just reduce the contrast to the entire image my light just went out right might just bump up exposure a bit okay i'm pretty happy with that now i'll just show you all the brushes and filters i've done so i've already done them because otherwise it might not have made sense earlier on in the edit to you guys but we have a few brushes so this one if i just press o is affecting the horizon so if i delete this just watch what happens uh, we lose a lot of saturation and contrast back there and we sort of bring it in and then that just sort of adds more attention to the backdrop adds a bit of a layer to the image and then this one press o just beside the car i think it's a bit brighter so i just put that in the tiniest amount 10 there maybe you don't need that one but we're just brightening the back of the car a little bit if press o just a tiny bit and then here we have the whole road so you sort of want the road to stand out to catch your eye so press o um pretty much hit, hitting the whole road we brought up the saturation so it just brings out the colors in the road and then we brought up the texture now watch what happens so we can't see that grit and texture and then we really bring it out so that's the brushes i think we have one of these now we just brought down the exposure of the foreground so that's just going to help our eye just go straight up into the subject and nicely frame it and then we have one up top let's just see what happens when we delete it so possibly could have got away with the out using one using that but just slightly darken the sky i think it works and then as for filters we've got one right on the car now he probably spent way more time and like did it exactly how he wanted but what we've got just affecting the car and i'll delete it possibly don't even need it but i just brightened it ever so slightly a bit more clarity there's a lot of glare on the car so like the window has a lot of glare i thought d hayes took that out a little bit uh, clarity gave it a nice pop and shine shadows just to slightly brighten it contrast give it a little bit of a pop and then uh, exposure just a little bit of brightness and yeah i think we're about done so if we recap we need a bit more brushing like some of the grass on the side here could be a bit brighter with a brush and that 
but I think we're okay. So over here, color channels, we had a lot of blues in the road. So as you can see, but they're quite purple, but then up here, they're quite teal. And I was struggling to get the right purple in the road, teal in the sky. So if I went teal, my sky would look quite good, but then my road would look purple. And then if I made my blues purple, my sky would look too purple and then my road would look good. So I added the purple in with the curves here. So I took green out. It's only the most subtle amount. I moved it over to the left. So I just brought this down and you just get all this purple into the shadows and it doesn't affect your sky. So that's how you control lighting in your scene, the colors using lighting. So in the shadows, just wanted to affect the road and we brought all those purples and the lights back on. So that's how I control the lighting, the colors and the light. Um, highlights the same, midtones were exactly the same. And then, yeah, just a little play around in the sh shadows with the curves and then split toning blues highlights the only real difference now is probably like a little bit of brushing here and there so we could add one more brush possibly right just there touch of exposure yeah i'm pretty happy with that oh and we got rid of distractions so it's really important to like clean up your image we've got two things here anything that is catching your eye so this little drain here and uh, whatever that is like a little creek further ahead they're kind of distracting elements to the photo so we clean them up with two spot removal tools and there's heaps of other things like there's a little road sign like way down the road there you can hardly see it and then it's gone in his one so he's taking the time to take that out there's a little dark spot right here that is natural like it's just a shadow or something but it is just being very distracting and he's taken that out so you just like use that tool and it takes them out but we won't do that lightroom's glitching at the moment won't let me change the size of my brush looks good could have more teals to the road so i could grab my blues or my purples that's what i want to do bring my purples across yeah, so I made my purples way more teal. Yeah, I like that. We didn't have much aquas, reds, probably that direction. And then luminance, the reds could come down so they don't like shine. It kind of looks kind of cool. It looks like, I don't know, the lights are on, but let's drop that. Uh, actually, just drop the reds. Okay, I think we are good for this. Yeah, if I show you the before and after, reset. Can't see a lot, so that's what it looks like before. And now we've got that. Reset. And bang. So make sure you go give Luke a follow, guys. He's a, yeah, epic content creator. He's uh, got a real awesome style. Really awesome.